you got to use your time to create the demand. The problem is your time is limited. Mm -hmm. The name of the game to increase your income is leverage. Mm -hmm. You accumulate social capital to create demand. Whoever has all the demand has all the power, mm -hmm. right? In influence, you always want to be the buyer, not the seller, right? So we are the one that we are, and we are the buyers. We're interviewing them on, on if they have what it takes, if it's a good fit. Yeah, it's no closing needed. Got it. Just like I'm, I'm buying a company, there's no closing needed. Well, I shouldn't say there's no closing needed. There's negotiation. Right? But then you did talk about it in the smart challenge, I guess, you know, which we won't go into tonight, but using, leveraging your social credibility mm. makes you gives you more control mm. so that when these people come in and you're you're in control you're the buyer mm. you can say well you know i don't need you you don't you can't negotiate it, a term it's, me. okay it's the this is a very 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 key lesson yeah you we accumulate social capital not for fame mm -hmm. right fame without fortune is frustration it's not talking about that right you accumulate social capital to create demand Mm. If the end goal is to drive up demand, because only when you drive, it doesn't matter what you do, you, 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 you own your own business, you're operating as a closer, you're operating as a copywriter, the name of the game, it's the law, economics, yeah. supply and demand, right? A lot of a lot of demand, value supply, what happens to price? It goes, it goes up. up. It's, it's that simple. So you accumulate social capital so that you could drive up the demand. The name of the game is drive the demand. Now, most people, if you don't do, you don't utilize social media, which is the name of the game, then how do you drive up demand? Think of back in the days. Yep. You have to use your manual labor. Yes. You have to use your time. You have to go shake their hand, meet the events, person, yeah. oh, do the, all of that. A lot of new business, right? They start. Mm. Yep. Yeah, you got to use your time to create the demand. The problem is your time is limited. Mm -hmm. If you spend all your time creating the demand manually, and then plus doing the fulfillment, plus everything else you gotta do, that's why those businesses don't grow. So social media is powerful because it's one to how many? Yeah. It's, it's, it's this exponential amount, it's one to many. It gives you leverage, it's not about hustle. That's why I hate when people say hustle, hustle, hustle. It's not about hustle. The name of the game to increase your income is leverage, uh -huh. right? How do you put yourself in front of more people? When you draft the demand, you can dictate terms. Yep. So it goes back to negotiation. That's why having walkaway power is very, it's very, it's just very powerful. If I, if I want this and I, there's no other alternative, I have no negotiation, zero negotiation power because I have no alternatives, but I have social capital and say, hey, if this deal works, great, but I've got a hundred other deals. Yep. Even if this deal works great, I still have a hundred other deals that I could look at and say, okay, which one is better term, which one is better fit. Whoever has all the demand has all the power, mm -hmm. right? So you're in command because you're in demand, but no one talks about creating demand. In Smart Challenge, we talk about this. We do. Yep. Uh, the instability, invisibility, I share the, the whole framework. Yep. No one could buy from you if they don't, they don't know you, you. Yep. right? And there's always this battle of fighting, trying to get attention. This battle of fighting to be known, this battle, battle of fighting to build credibility. Well, a lot that goes away when you got a line of people wanting to do business with you, mm -hmm. right? So you, I learned that very early on in my career. So everything I do is about that. So I'll give you a perfect example. Yep. In the beginning of my career, I would go to these networking functions and meet with people and you shake hands and yes. you talk to people before COVID, of course, right? Yes. And you meet with people and, hey, it's my business card, what do you do in my business card? And then, oh, let's do coffee, let's do all that. And after a while, I just, after a while, I just found that incredibly inefficient, mm -hmm. right? Now, before social media, I just realized whoever is at the front of the room gets to meet all the people instantly. That's why I went to want to uh, before I wanted to improve my English speaking skill, as that goes on, I found that just by being a speaker in front of the room, it makes a huge difference. You get credibility. Stage time equals wealth time. Write this down, right? If that's the case, instead of me, let's say 100 people in the room, I meet with you, I meet with you, I meet 10 people max, yes. 20 people. But if I'm in the front and I talk, I might not meet 100 people, but 100 people have met me. Yep. And afterwards, they line up and wanted to talk. Mm -hmm. And that changed my game. So I wouldn't go to any networking business thing unless I'm the speaker. So then you converted that to online. Yeah, it's the same idea. 
the difference is instead of one to 100, one to 200, it's one to millions. tens of millions, right? Yeah. It's, it's exactly what it is.